Oh yes, we are back Brighton Fanatics with another Matt Stay vlog in home, in the home ground once again, in Brighton, down at the south coast, and we have Everton today. Mm. They are 19th, we are 7th, this is going to be a very interesting game. They're fighting for survival and we're fighting for European football. It is really sad to think after this match we only have two more home games left until the end of the season. A brilliant season at the Amex we've had, but literally only two more after this game. Rightio, Brighton Fanatic. So my score predictions for this game coming up today, I think it's going to be a whopping 2-0 to the Albion against Everton. I think it's going to be another clean sheet for Jason Steele. But my goal scorers for today is going to be Danny Welbeck up front. He's going to score. He's going to get another goal. And I also think someone a little different. Billy Billy Gilmore is going to score for his very first goal for the Albion today. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's see and let's hope that I'm right with that score prediction. Three points incoming, baby. Come on. Yo. Brighton Fanatics, it's your boy Luke the Links Brighton, and we're back again today. Back in the town, the mouse, here we come with facts, and the dog get loud, do we get it right back? So we kidding it right now. All right, we're here with Ryan. Ryan, you said that you haven't been in the Amex for quite a while. When was your last game at the Amex here? It was, uh, it was Leicester, but my first ever game was uh, uh, Norwich. Uh, really? And, and, uh, when, we got, when we got a second uh, place yeah. in the yeah. championship. Blimey. So obviously you've been supporting the album for it seems to be quite a while, but it's good to be here once again against Everton. How are you feeling about this match? Uh, pretty confident we have mm. to be. Uh, uh, be st stuck it to United. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good year we're having, aren't we? What is your score predictions for this, uh, for this game coming forward? I reckon 3-1. 3-1 to the Albion. Goal scorers? Uh, it depends on who's, uh, who's available, but I reckon... Oh, that's massive! <laughs> uh, uh, I reckon uh, well a masterclass. Okay. Uh, I think McAllister's drew a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I reckon Matoma as well. Absolutely love that, Ryan. Appreciate you coming on, mate. Big fist bump, boss. Okay, we're here with Shun. Very good to meet you. Uh, I heard that you found on the channel. You watch my vlogs. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, what do you think of today's game then? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I reckon three 0 to the Seagulls because uh, yeah, we can bounce back in the last two games. Mm. Um, and considering the uh, upcoming showdowns against top teams, yes. we have to win today, so it's really mostly one. It's a big game today. Yeah. Do you think Matoma's going to score today? Yeah, of course. I haven't checked yet uh, if he's real start or yep. check uh, uh, off the bench, but yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I hope he's going to score a goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, Welbeck, uh, okay. he's been in really great form he's good. for recent games, and I'll be happy if Kaiseido will score okay. too, because he's one of my favorite players. Yeah, yeah, Kaiseido. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I really impressed that he played well uh, uh, as a right back in last game. Mm. So I hope, yeah, I ho I'm really excited. Yeah. yeah, good game today. Have you been supporting the Albion for a long time or, or quite a short time? Yeah, it's just first first time. Yeah, first time here in the Amex today. Yes. <laughs> wow, very first game today. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. I hope we win today. Thank Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. Okay, Oscar, you said to me behind the camera that you're a little bit more nervous for this game than you were the United one. How come? Um, I don't know, it's just something about Sean Dyche's football okay. which uh, scares me. Very uh, menacing and um, I don't know, it's just... Uh, They're fighting, aren't they, to stay up yeah. as well? And I think that added fight in them yeah. will sort of... Yeah. make them come here obviously last time they came here they won 2-0 they did so they did. i think that fighting spirit you know it's like now or never really yeah so i think that's going to really spur them on to yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. try and get a result today what is your score predictions today obviously being a little bit more nervous coming to the game do you think we can sneak it do you think it'll be a draw do you think we could lose that'd be bad what do you think i'm going to say 2-1 okay um but part of me also wants to say 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I think there's going to yeah. be goals. Okay. But as I said, I am a bit, a bit nervous yeah, cool. for it. Yeah. Hopefully we do, Oscar. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming on. on. Let's go with it, Matthew. Good to see you. Hope you're well. What do you think of today's game? And Everton at home. It's, it's a game we do need to get some points out of, isn't it? It is. I mean, we're playing for Europe this season. But I think, I think, Everton obviously they're in the relegation yeah. zone. But I think. Um, I think we'll just have too much for them. I'm going to go with 2-0 okay. win. Okay. Matoma and Solly. 
Right. Home and Solia, absolutely love that. Do you think we'll hit Europe then? If we do win today, do you think it's a good possibility we do? I mean, Aston Villa lost their last game against Wolves. Could be a good sign. United lost yesterday as well. Yes. But um, yep. I, th I think we'll get Europa League. I okay. think I think Champions League is pushing it a little bit. Uh -huh, yeah. But um, I, I think we'll come sixth or seventh. I think, yeah. Hopefully we do. Hopefully too. Matthew, thank you for coming on, buddy. I really appreciate it. Okay, Sanson, good to see you, my friend. How was that feeling when McAllister scored that penalty goal up against Manchester United? Oh, it was so good. I was uh, I was out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably the one of the best moments I have ever had. Really? Yeah, yeah good yeah. one. Hoping for another good result today. Obviously, we're on quite good form. Beating six 0 against Wolves. Beating and getting a revenge on Manchester United. What's happening today then? What is your score prediction? Yeah, to be honest, I think it will be a blowout today. Okay. So uh, my score prediction is going to be three 0 I guess. Three 0 Yeah, and go score. I'm going to go with. Mike Callister okay. and uh, Dennis Ander. Yeah. So much. Absolutely love that. Sanson, thank yeah. you so much for coming on. Appreciate thank you, my you. friend. Right, Andy, we've spoken a couple of times on Instagram. You're finally on the channel. What are you feeling for this game then? Everton, they're 19th, we're 7th. We're quite above them, but they could be fighting for, obviously, this relegation. Very nervy. Very, very nervy. Mm -hmm. I will say one thing. If we can score a goal in the yeah. first, what, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, I reckon we'd be all right. Yeah. But I think they're going to come here with a low block. We've got to get an early goal and get ahead. There's not going to be much in this goal. Well said. Uh, in this game, sorry. Yeah. Well said. Okay, so what is your score prediction then, overall? There's going to be one goal in it. Okay. I will go with, I think, 2-1 to yeah. the Albion. Yeah. Yeah. I think Maka is going to get one. Yeah. I think Matoma after Manchester United the other night, I think he'll get one as well. Yeah. And with regard to them, I don't know. Not sure. In your opinion, obviously, I'm um, guessing, were you at the Manchester United game? Yeah. So, interestingly, Moises Caicedo played in right-back role. Do you think he played well in that position? I did, and I thought he had Rashford very, very well. But there were times where I was thinking, watching the game, I was thinking, he needs to be more central. Yeah. And when he did go back, yeah. Luke, more central, yeah. I was thinking. It was just that little, um, what's the word? It was that confidence of having him centrally again and thinking, you could just breathe again a yeah, bit. Yeah, it's, it's where it used to be, isn't know it? What I mean, yeah. yeah. Andy, Sweet. appreciate you, my friend. Thanks nice so much for coming you. on. Take Very care. good. Thank you. William, what do you think about today's game? Who's going to score? Uh, so to score, I will go Solly March, and I don't know because if Evan Ferguson's back, I might go Evan Ferguson. Yeah. But if not, I'll go Solly March. Love that. Do you think we are going to win today? Yeah. Definitely. Do you think we can hit Europe? Yeah, probably. You do, you do. I absolutely love that. William, thank you for coming on, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, boys, Harry, Charlie, Statman Harry and Statman Charlie. We have a little stat from Charlie as well. Evan Ferguson heard that he could be starting again uh, today after quite a while of him being out. Do you think he will? And if he does, do you think he'll score today? I don't think Deserbia really want to take the chance of starting him. I think he'll put him on the bench and then he'll come off probably second half, 60th minute. Because yep. obviously I think, obviously it's not going to, I don't think he can do a full 90 after being out for so many games. I think obviously maybe half hour, just get him, get him back into the flow of it. Yeah. And I think that's what he needs. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully after that, he can start doing 90 minutes yeah. again after that. Yeah. Absolutely. So Statman Harry, what is your stat for today? Let us know, my friend. Today is the... Um, First time that we're looking to do the league double over Everton in history because Everton have been a real bogey side for us in recent seasons. Obviously, we beat them up at Goodison 4 1 earlier in the season. So, hopefully, today we can have a similar scoreline to that. Mm. Yeah, there he is, Elliot behind the camera. Yeah, they've been a tough side at home. Definitely have struggled against them at home. Charlie, you have a stat for us? Let us all know what your stat is well, for today. The stat was that uh, Evan Ferguson going to start. Okay. Well, he could start. I've okay. uh, got one more. So, the Albion have won two times, I believe. Uh, lost three times and drawn six times against Everton. So this game is vital. Aston Villa just beat, uh, just been beaten by Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes. So if we win today, three points above Villa, I believe. Could be a bit of a gap today if we do get the three points. But um, love it, boys. Statman Harry and Statman Charlie. Thank you for coming on, boys. Appreciate it. Right, Elliot, back on today. We're looking at the lineup here and we're thinking it's another interesting one. It's three interesting games in a row. And we're seeing Moises Caicedo in right back again. Did he work well in right back last game? Do you think or do not? Mm, I think he played. He did play a good game. Yeah. I think it, it, no matter where he goes, he's versatile. Yes. 
he's quick, he's yeah. strong. He's got everything to be versatile, but I think yeah. when we play someone like Gross as well, yeah. I think Kaiseido should go up and Gross should drop back to that right back role. Bruno Notte starting instead oh, yeah. of March. Do you think March should be starting over Bruno Notte? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he definitely should. I, feel, I think Bruno Notte, I don't know if Deserby trusts him too much. I yeah. think he's a good talent, yeah. but not yet. I think Solly, Solly's a better player currently for that position. Yes. I don't know if <laughs> Bruno Notte should be starting at 18, but listen, he might change our minds today, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Appreciate you coming on, Elliot, you, once again, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens today. Look at these amazing Matoma signatures on the Matoma shirts. Boys, how are we feeling today? Let's turn back around, let's turn back around. How do you feel today? I'm excited about the match because um, um, we think we're going to win because um, I think um, we, won, we won against Manchester United last time. We won there with McAllister um, yeah. scoring the penalty in the 99th minute. So what do you think is going to happen today? Who's going to score? I think it's going to be a 2-0 win. Okay, 2-0 win. Um, Who's going to score? Matoma and maybe in CISO. That would be brilliant. What do you think today, buddy? I think we're going to perfectly win okay. because um, we, are, we, are, we are a very good team and um, I've never ever seen a solid March goal um, in the stadium before okay. and I really want to see it. Wow, well hopefully we do see Solly March scoring today. Hey, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Right, Seb, what do you think about today's game, Everton at home? We haven't done too well against Everton at home, but we could be seeing Evan Ferguson back today. Do you think we will see Evan Ferguson back at some point? Uh, yeah, I think maybe, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously, I don't know if you've seen the lineup, but we've got Facundo Brunanotte and Dennis Sundas starting. Do you think Solly should have been starting again today? Because he played really well when he came on. Yeah, um, Solly March, he should be playing because he's better in that position at the moment right now. A little bit more experience. So what is your score predictions and goal scorers for today? Um, I think the score is going to be 2-0 to Brighton. And the score goal, the goal scorers are Pascal Gross and Danny Welbeck. Love that, absolutely love that. Seb, thank you for coming on, buddy, and I appreciate it. Bosh. Charlie, what do you think about today's game and your score predictions? Uh, I think I'm going to batter them because they're Everton. They're rubbish. OK. 4-0. OK. Uh, it's going to be an easy match all round. Clean sheet as well. For, who's in goal? Jason Steele. I think Jason Steele, yeah. Yeah, he's incredible. Yeah. He's going to... He doesn't let any goals in. Who do you prefer, Jason Steele or Robert Sanchez in goal? Jason Steele. Okay. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just so much better. Yeah. He saved a penalty. He should have been in goal for the penalties at Wembley. Yeah. Then we would have made it to the final. But Hopefully we do win again today. Charlie, thank you for coming on, buddy. I appreciate it. Bosh. Nice. Okay, Cooper, great to see you. How do you feel about today's game uh, and what is your prediction? I'm going to go 4-0 Brighton. 4-0. I love to hear that. And who is going to score for that 4-0? Alistair, Welbeck, Undav and Nciso. Okay. So out of interest, who has been uh, the player that has surprised you the most um, this season, playing well? Probably uh, Nciso, uh, uh, that goal against Chelsea. Yeah. Who would you say has, has been the best overall throughout this year? Uh, I don't know, to be yeah. honest. Uh, like Matoma. Yeah, we've all been pretty brilliant. And do you think we'll hit European football this season? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully so. Cooper, thank you very much for coming on. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Okay, Zach, great to see you. How are you feeling, Zach? Great to see you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very, very good, thank you very yeah. much. Thanks yeah. for asking. No, very good. What do you think about today, then, Zach? How are you feeling for this game today? I'm very confident we're going to win today. 3-0 mm -hmm. Brighton. We have to see it. Always positive from Zach. Who is your goal scorers? Matoma, Undav and McAllister. Did you enjoy that goal against Manchester United with that penalty at the end? Yes. I, I nearly lost my voice and it was brilliant. I was crazy. It, it was brilliant. I loved it. Absolutely brilliant. Well, we hope for another positive game again today. Zach, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. We're going to play the national anthem, but they're going to try and sing over it. Hey, back in his normal position that's great to see. Back. Back. Yeah, Josh. 
Martin. He's <laughs> all coming in. And Tyler gave it away over on the run. Less than a minute. What, what on earth? Not even a minute in. Defence. Not even there. Defence not even there. What is actually happening? What on earth, man? The Corre as well, man. The Corre. What on earth, man? I mean, I hope we'll come back, and I think we will, but Everton haven't won an away game in 15 matches. I really hope that doesn't change today. I really do. I, 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 I really do. Well done, Dunk! Applause from the crowd again. Great defence from Lewis. Get out of here. The stunt. Go, Moises! Calvert Lewin! Nah, 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 easy. The roar of the Everton fans. A big roar, actually. Fighting for survival. It's just too relaxed, man. We just need to get ahead in the game and start playing our normal football. Passes aren't very good as well. They have a corner here. Out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good block. What is going on? It keeps happening. McNeil again. Get out of here. Shocking, Decore. Yeah, rubbish, mate. We're shocking today. Absolutely shocking. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Watch as the Everton fans go wild in the away end. As Brighton are 2 0 down. It's a complete. Is it opposite Dale Watt? I say 2-0, we we'll lose 2-0. To wake up, need to wake up. Oh. It's a joke. They want it more, don't they? They're asleep, their counter is quick. It's too relaxed, all our football. They're, they're, they're counter-attacking us every time, they're attacking. They're threatening, we need to be threatening. I don't know why we're not, it's ridiculous. God, man. Just share some light. 
We've got João Pedro! João Pedro! What a lad! He's here from Watford! There he is! New signing for Brighton! New striker! Great to see him! Big up João Pedro, we need ya! Never shown you couldn't play today, eh? Said on my match preview we would see him. And there he is! Neil Malpe. Happy birthday to uh, Amy ex striker. Ostry. That's from your mum, your dad, and. And he could be seeing him money. again today in the Amex. Happy 75th birthday to our. Wow, this is a, a big change up for our time. Uh, needed, I will say that, needed. Adam Webster, Danny Welbeck, Dennis Under. Yeah, Lundin, a lot. There's a lot. Uh, have left the pitch and. There we go. Number six, Levi Cole. Come on, Brian! Number seven, Steve. Epic comeback, here we come. That's nice. Oh! Oh, you're joking! How, man? That's what I was saying in the match preview. The video before this video. I said that uh, Jordan Pickford is a good goalkeeper and uh, it won't be easy to get past him and it's just shown there Evan Ferguson with the closest opportunity of the game and nearly went to the back of the net. Oh, oh my god! Just score man, just score bro! Get a bit of luck, score! Good. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Jordan Pickford! England's number one. Oh, I knew it. He's good, man. I told you. In the mass preview, I told you. John Pickford. He's good. He is good. Oh. No short corner, though, this time. Back in. Should be straight away back in, man. Oh, my God. This could be one attack for Everton and one goal. Solly's done his hamstring. Oh, He's off. Oh, oh God. 4-0. Oh God. 4-0. This is dreadful. Yeah. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Again, Everton took the fourth goal, won the game, and uh, just walked out. That's it. It's over. Oh. Is he offside, though? I don't know. Well, that was a really weird goal. Like, we almost forced the goal to go in. If it wasn't for McAllister being there, we wouldn't have scored. 4-1 to the Albion. Was he outside though? I'm not sure. Was he outside? No. Ah. Good. Goal. Check is complete. Goal. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, look who's joined the party. It's Neil Marpe. He's back. Oh, he's going for the header too. Unlucky Mope. 5-0. Yep. Oh, yeah. 5-1. There it is. 5-1 to Everton. I'm betting none of you thought this. Surely you thought Brighton was going to win this. Surely you thought Brighton would. We got slapped. Absolutely slapped. This fair play to you. You wanted it more. Your counter attack was brilliant. Aggressive. Good football. Boys and girls, we're here once again with some amazing Ecuadorian shirts. I love these. Are we all from Ecuador? We are, yes, we are. We, are. Ecuadorian. we love that. Love that. Long way to see my, my country. We came from Ecuador a long way just to watch the games. 
Yeah. Is this your first game today? Yes. Wow. A disappointing game to Absolutely come to. Absolutely disappointing. But we're still loving them. We're yeah. still loving the team. Yeah, you're still loving yes. the team. We're yeah. still supporting them. Especially Cedo, Estupinian and Sarmiento. But Sarmiento is... Sarmiento, yeah, yeah. We're missing out on Jeremy. We're missing out we're on him. We're waiting for you to come back. We came for you. We're and we're here to Sarmiento. support you. We love yes, you. Yes, Big up, big up, Jeremy. What, what do you guys think of uh, today's game? We are really disappointed. I got it as well. Yes. Really, it, it was really a surprise for us. But what can we do? If you love the, you know, if you love the team, you need to love them Absolutely. in like yeah, yeah. in the bad times and the good times. So, is this your first time ever at the Amex? We ha yeah, this is this is our first time. Are you going to be staying for the next game at home? No, no. we need to come back to Ecuador. Ecuador, okay. yeah. I want to stay. Yeah, no, <laughs> we want to stay. We love that. We absolutely love that. This man that's gonna get back to Ecuador, but okay. I don't know if I can get another game. So, out of interest, guys, how was your experience here at the Amex for the very first time? Really Did you enjoy nice. it? People are really kind. Like yes. we love the culture as yes. well. Everyone is really, really kind, yeah. and um, the, the, the environment was really good. Okay. But of course, the game love it was love it that. was not what we expected. What do you think of Brighton, the city? Have you enjoyed yourself really over nice. in Brighton? Yeah, really, really yes, nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. 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 How big is Brighton in Ecuador? Oh, uh, is the fans building? The fans, because there are Especially Ecuadorian now. players. Especially, Especially now. now. Is Ecuador it's the main team is the first one and Brighton is the second. So you can tell the whole country supports Brighton yes. over there. But yeah. obviously not everyone has the possibility to come over Fantastic. to watch the game. Absolutely. But yeah, we, Ecuador is Brighton in South America. So yeah, yeah, yeah. here we go, Ecuador, guys. They call Equa Brighton. Equa Equa Brighton. Brighton. Equa Brighton. Equa Brighton. I love that. OK, guys, can we all get a vamos to end vamos. this interview? Vamos! Yeah, very good. Guys, what do we think of that game? Do you think it was the worst game of the season, like in performance-wise? Result-wise? Yeah. Yeah. Um, performance-wise, it's pretty shocking, but it's... Yeah, I, do, I, think, I think it's the worst. Was it quite a surprising, you know, end result for against Everton? I mean, you know, it's, it's not really ideal going and losing 5-1 to Everton. Obviously, they're battling relegation and we're, we're pushing for European football, so it's really not ideal. Yeah. Yeah. So It's definitely hurt a goal difference. Obviously, we had a really good 6-0 against Wolves and that's pretty much taken away now from 5-1 loss here. That's really hurt a goal difference. Who is um, the player that you would say has played quite well today? Any in, in your opinion, Theo, you starting? Uh, I'd like to say Lewis Dunk played really well. He uh, yeah, definitely yeah. put a shift Solid. into the back, but I think the whole team just kind of let us down today. Could have been a lot better. Uh, you know, I, I think Levi Colwell, when he came on, he made quite a big difference yeah. in defence. Yeah. Sort of picked up Adam Webster's pieces from yes. the first half and just sort of repaired the team a bit. So I think Levi Colwell did pretty well. And see, so when he came on, a bit of magic, bit of flair, as per usual, Lots but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boys, appreciate you coming on. Okay, with Albi and Finley. Finley, you haven't been on channel for a while, and it's a, it's a shame you're back on when we've lost this game. How do you feel, Finley? Mega. Absolutely no, no. No? Not, not good today. Uh, how do you feel? It, Disappointed? Yep. Bit sad? Do you think we could still get Europe? Maybe, maybe. 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 Yeah, I reckon we can. Appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you very much. Right, Josh, how do you feel after that match, Josh? Losing 5-1 against Everton. Quite surprising. Were you surprised about that result? Yeah, it was very disappointing. Uh, the, we were very like bad. 3-0 uh, half-time, wasn't it? Half -time but then the first goal went in, and then they scored a fifth goal, and I was like, oh, it's not good. Everyone left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I stayed. Yeah, appreciate you for staying. Real fan right here, real fan, Josh. Who is the player that you would have said that you, who did play well today? Uh, who did have a good performance? It's hard to pick because I, I was looking at Matoma. He's been off recently. Uh, uh, Struggled to score, isn't he, Matoma? A little yeah. bit because he has his shots, but they go really wide. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, Josh. Look, hopefully, do you think we can still get Europe? Yes. We love that. Ending with a positive. Josh, appreciate you coming on, buddy. Thank you. Well, that is the end of today's Match Day vlog. Fulham has scored, William. But anyways, if you've never seen my face before, Everton fans, Brighton fans, fans from any club, you're enjoying what you're seeing here on the Loot Links Brighton channel. 
please subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, and like this video if you haven't enjoyed it. It would help me hugely, as you probably know. On to Arsenal. That won't be the next video, though. I will be doing a match reaction to talk about this match in depth for my full reaction of this game once I've had another look at it. <sighs> Arsenal, we're coming for you. We'll see.